we're celebrating the earth by celebrating Earth Day. Yes. So get ready, we have some activities that you can practice inside so that when you go outside and explore, you can do some fun activities with the nature that you see. Yeah. And it's almost Wolf's birthday too. So we're gonna yeah. sing happy yeah, birthday to him at the sick. end. Yeah. Let's get ready to go. To start out Earth Day, we'll do a special breath exercise where we're gonna take a moment to tune in. So you gotta put your fingers in kind of a special way. You can put your fingers like this with a pointer finger and your thumb out, or you can go like this, or this one's kind of tricky. You can go like this. There's lots of different ways you can put your hand. I like that way. I like having it with your finger up. So <laughs> use your thumb to plug one side of your nose, just one side at a time. Use your thumb to plug one side of your nose and breathe in. And then hold it for a second, switch sides, and then breathe out through the other nose, the other nostril. Then we'll breathe in through the same side. Keep your pinky on your nose. Then we'll breathe out the other side. And then breathe back in through that side. Switch sides and breathe out. Breathe in. Switch sides and breathe out. Breathe in. Switch sides and breathe out. Awesome work. That was kind of tricky to breathe through both sides of your nose, huh? At different times. To celebrate Earth Day, we'll explore some different modes of transportation. That includes riding your bicycle around. How many of you like to ride your bicycles around the neighborhood? There's lots of different ways to ride bicycles. You can ride a bike with another person. You can ride a bike with training wheels. You can ride a bike lots of different ways. So we'll explore some different pretend and inside ways to ride a bicycle around. So you'll need a smooth surface for at least some of them. And we're gonna scoot the mat over a little bit and then use a blanket. We'll pretend to be a cargo bike for this one. So that's where if you needed to go to a store or go pick up some things, you would take a cargo bike with you so you could bring it all on the back of your bike. So Wolf's gonna sit in the blanket and I'm gonna tow him around a little bit. Here we go. You could take turns doing it, do it lots of sorts of and I do a lot of times. different ways, and oh you can God, even switch cool. who's the rider and who's the puller. Whoa! <laughs> it helps if you have a little bit more space, but it's fun to pull around on a blanket. Now that was the only one we need the blanket for. We'll bring the, the mat back and put the blanket over to the side, but don't worry, we'll use it again in a little bit. The next bicycle we'll pretend to be is a tandem bike where you ride a bike with someone else. So for this one, lay on your back and touch your feet together. Touch your feet together while you rotate your feet. <laughs> while you rotate your feet in big circles like you're bicycling. <laughs> and make sure you go in both directions too. We can go sideways. Sideways biking. You can move your feet in all sorts of directions together. Yeah. Keep cycling those legs. Can you go fast and then slow together? Can we go the other way? Oh yeah, go the other way. One person will feel like they're bicycling backwards. You go first. You lead. There you go. Yeah, my legs are hurt. I can't <laughs> do it anymore. Oof, that's tiring. For the next one, we'll move over to the mountains. Now mountain biking can be pretty hard and we're gonna use our imaginations. Imagine we're mountain biking, but instead we're pedaling with our hands. So Wolf is going to be in a wheelbarrow pose. So his hands are gonna be on the ground. I'm gonna hold his feet up off of the ground. We're gonna to try to walk together across the mat. Okay, ready? Here we go, I'm holding onto his legs. Can you walk? 
Whoa, it's tricky to go mountain biking. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> what happened? Our mountain bike broke down. It's too tricky. We can keep trying though. You want to try one more time? Yeah. Okay. We we'll go the other way. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go across to the other side. Here we go. Nice work. Ooh, you could even try to go backwards. Whoa, that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. <laughs> Good job. So remember, we did we pretended to be on different kinds of bicycles for Earth Day because when we can ride bikes more, it takes better care of the planet and it makes us feel really good and it's fun too at the same time. Yeah. So have fun practicing those fun bicycling exercises at home and then when it's warm enough and when you're ready to go outside, get out there and ride your bikes around. Yeah. next activities, we came up with these activities to do inside after we spent some time exploring outside. And you can do the same thing. These are just some ideas of activities that you can do when you go explore outside. So for our first one, we found a bunch of logs and we also found a maze in the forest up by the mountains. So grab a blanket. We'll do our first two activities with our blanket. And you need to roll your blanket up so it's nice and small like a snake. Oh, yeah. So when we found those logs outside, we tried to climb on them and balance. So we'll lay this log, this pretend blanket log in the middle and see if we can balance across. Snake now there's a few different ways you can walk on it. I'll let you go first. You can just walk on your feet like that. I can scoot on it. Yeah. Or you could try to crawl on it with your knees and hands touching it. You can crawl on it with your knees or and hands touching it. It's like the ground's hot lava, but you can't touch it be up such thin pieces. Or just really got touched. Wow, good balancing. He's trying to keep his feet and his hands on the log the whole time. Good work. You could even try to do it so just your hands and your feet are touching. So I'll lift my hips up into the air. Oh, this is kind of tricky. See if I can balance like this. It's like you're crawling. It is like I'm crawling. You're right. You could go like high like this. Ooh, nice balancing. Just the hands and feet touching. Whoa. Oh, Good I got job. <laughs> Or you can do it with no feet touching You it. could do it with no feet if you want to try. That would be Wait, extra challenging, huh? Is it challenging? That is challenging. The most important thing is to try even if it's tricky. I'm going to try one more way where I try to walk with my feet but keep my hips down low. I'm going to try to walk with my feet on the log only without touching my hands but keep my hips down low at the same time. Okay. Whew. That's tricky, or just your knees. Think of all the cool ways you can practice balancing on that log. So that then, if you see one in nature and you need to cross it to get to the other side of a stream or something, you'll be ready to cross that log. Now you'll need your blanket rolled up again for this next one. We were lucky to find a labyrinth out in the wild and you can practice kind of making something similar to it by just taking a rolled up blanket and making it into a spiral shape. And you'll do it kind of like how we did with balancing on the log, but this time you'll try to walk on the inside of that really cool shape. So I'm gonna make this into a circle. You could use lots of blankets for this. So if you make the blanket into a spiral, you can use lots of blankets to make it as big as you want to. So when you have your spiral, start from the outside and work your way in. Okay, let's see. Wolf's walking on the inside of the blanket. You can do that too. Just try to walk really slowly. That's the point of that labyrinth we found out in the wild, was to walk really mindfully. 
face. You want to try it on the blanket now? Oh, yeah, that's you. Okay, crazy. let's see. You can't find the inside. The ground's hot lava. <laughs> That's a good way to pretend is that the ground, hot, ground is hot lava so you can balance on those really tricky parts. So when you make your spiral, you can balance on the edges and try not to fall off or you can try to walk in between and not touch the blanket at all. They're both kind of tricky and kind of help you walk a little bit more mindfully <laughs> and practice your balance too. Nice work and feel free to walk your labyrinth or your spiral as many times as you want to. Sometimes when you're outside, you'll find really cool stacks of rocks that people create. And if you don't see anywhere you are, you can create some yourself. So after you create your stack of rocks, we'll pretend that we are rocks and stack on top of each other. So this is kind of like our lizard. This. this is kind of like our lizard on a rock pose, but I, me and Wolf are both going to keep our knees close together so that we support our backs. I'm going to be in child's pose with my hands by my feet. Wolf will be on top of me in the same way. There we go. Look, we're stacked like a pile of rocks. You got to be careful because it's tricky to balance when you're stacked like that. <laughs> Good work. also able to find some cool ways to color outside. We found some charcoal from an old campfire that someone made and we created some cool designs on rocks and logs. So a good way to practice this at home is our pose, is our trace pose. So Wolf's going to draw a picture on my back and I'm going to, I'll try to figure out what he's creating. Does it have a lot of legs? So it feels like it has a lot of legs. It feels like it has a lot of legs and is maybe fuzzy. Is it a tarantula? Uh -uh. Is it a bug? Uh -huh. Is it an ant? Yeah, but it's <gasps> some different kind. A uh, carpenter ant? Uh -uh. Oh, is it a bullet ant? Yeah! Oh, yes! Okay, so grab your partner. Now I'm going to draw a picture on Wolf's back and he's got to guess what it is. Okay, here we go. Do you know? A rainbow. Yeah, it's a rainbow! <laughs> We also found some, when we were out exploring, we also found some big logs that we were able to lay over and look up at the clouds. So we'll practice that in a little partner pose on our hands and knees. Well, out one person will be on their hands and knees, the other person will lay over their back. The other person will come behind and lay back and get a nice little stretch. And the person who's on their hands and knees well, could maybe tuck their hips under and lift them up. This looks like a moving log. You can imagine you're like on a log in the ocean or on a log in a river. Mm -hmm. I go up and down. Ocean is kind of a, a river. It's <laughs> two <the> ocean. <laughs> and then you can gently get up and make sure you take your time when you get ready to be back to standing again. outside exploring we found a really cool ants nest and sometimes you can find a bunch of other kinds of bugs we found an ant but today we'll focus on the ants nest 
And if you see ants, they like to walk in a line. So we're gonna do the same thing, but crawling on the ground. So one of us will be the leader and the other person will hold onto their ankles and will crawl, crawl around the room. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna follow him. Where are you going? You can make this train as long as you want to. <laughs> we're coming off the screen. <laughs> Keep crawling. You can have a lot more than two people too. Now I'll take a turn being the leader. He has to hold on to my ankles and we crawl around together. The ants go marching on and on. Hurrah. The ants go marching on and on. Hurrah. Hurrah. Da 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 Good work! Look at that ant colony that you made. Where did you go? Where did you end up? It's cool to watch different creatures and try to act like them in real life. We found a really awesome piece of bark that we created a boat out of in the stream that we saw. So to practice this at home, we'll get into boat pose together and see if we can balance by bringing our feet together and lifting them up and balance without falling over. We don't want to lose all that stuff. Don't want to lift up too high. Another way you can do it, especially if they're a little bit smaller, is you can have someone come sit in your lap and we'll see if we can be in our boat together. Don't fall out. Whoa. Maybe you can try to hold it with your boat up high. Row your boat together. Oh, good work. See how long you can do that one. Mm -hmm. That one's a fun one to try. Maybe you can rotate back and forth between the two of them. And that's it for our nature activities. And you can find a bunch of cool things outside too. So go outside, find some fun ways to explore with nature, and then see if you can keep doing activities like that. If you see a log or you see a river, maybe you'll try some of these activities too. We're closing up this class today by imagining we'll be holding the whole world in our hands. So take your hands, hold them out straight, then flip them backwards so you're clapping with the back of your hands. Cross at your elbows, bring your hands together, interlock your fingers, and then tuck it all the way up and under. And look, it looks like I'm holding a world in my hands. Nice work. And rest your chin. Rest your chin on your knuckles and take some big breaths in and out. And maybe take a moment to feel some gratitude for the earth that we have around us, the beautiful world that we live on. Hmm. And take a second to squeeze yourself a little bit in your Cooper's posture like you're giving yourself a hug. Take one last big inhale and then breathe out all the way. Awesome work. So if you have something to make music with, it can be a drum, it could be tapping sticks together, it could be shakers like this. Make some rhythm together. Okay, and the song goes like this. Mother, I feel you under my feet. Mother, I feel your heart beat. Hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya. Ya, hey, ya, hey, ya, ho. Hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya. Hey, ya, hey, ya, ho. Mother, I feel you under my feet. Mother, I feel your heart beat. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ya hey ya, hey ya ho. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya ho. One more time. Mother, I feel you under my feet. Mother, I feel your heart beat. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ya hey ya, hey ya ho. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ho. <laughs> Good work, that's one of my favorite songs. And when we're saying, 
Mother, I feel you. That's like another way of saying Mother Earth. Saying thank you to Earth. Thank you for Earth Day. Thank you, Mother Earth, for having such a beautiful place. All right, thanks for celebrating Earth Day with us. It was so much fun to explore the wild. I hope you get outside wherever you live and take some time to appreciate the Earth that we're on together. Now, last but not least, it's time for us to sing Happy Birthday to Wolf. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wolfie. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo!